withering desert lies parched and dry, under the heat of the cloudless sky. Corpses lie bloodied on hostile ground. Death stalks stealthily like a hungry hound. The sand is stained with a river of red, stained dark with the blood of the dead. The breeze plays gently with the grains of sand, creating a mist across the barren land. Through this haze one can barely see a cluster of tents in this aridity. Outside a tent, a man stands alone. Exhaustion seeps from his every bone. His tears he cautiously tries to hide, then turns slowly and walks inside. Zainab asks him with eyes full of pain, My dear brother, does no one remain? Wearily, he slowly shakes his head. Upon Karbala's sands, they all lie dead. How I had hoped that it would not come to this, that you should stand alone in this vast abyss. He looks at his sister with anguish in his eyes. Gently, softly, he replies, Mine will be but a single death, yet yours will lie at every step. My task, I know, is almost complete, so sister, for me, do not weep. Your task, my sister, has only just begun. Today's suffering is not yet done. This day's battle, not yet won. With a dungeon as your stately home, you must overturn a tyrant's throne. Deep inside men's hearts, your voice must burn. The tide of thought you must turn. God's laws you must proclaim. This revolution you must inflame. Weakness and suffering you will deploy. What my sword cannot conquer, your chains will destroy. What my freedom will not vanquish, your captivity will defeat. What my warriors leave unfinished, my women must complete. His pain he tries not to show. My brave sister, now I must go. Zainab, you know what must be done. Islam's battle must be won. Across the desert, the armies wait, their leaders simmering with their hate. Their booming drums through the desert resound, inviting Hussein to stand his ground. They all demand the ultimate price, the last and greatest sacrifice.